Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to show you how to use Geekbench 5 in order to benchmark your Windows 11 ARM based virtual machine or computer. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So what we need to do is to go to the geekbench.com website. So I'm going to open up the Edge browser and go to geekbench.com and then press return. And then we're going to go to the Geekbench website. And we're going to use the free version of Geekbench in order to do the benchmark on this particular computer. Press the download button here. And because we're using Windows 11 ARM, I'm going to be clicking on this button in the center and downloading this one. And then we're just going to wait for that to complete its download. So once the download is complete, we're going to go to File Explorer. And then we're going to go to our download section here. And then we're going to find Geekbench 5.45 Windows Setup. Double click. And now it's asking us to make changes. Going to press yes. Then we're going to complete the install process. Press next. I agree. And then next again and then install. And now I'm going to press finish and it's going to automatically run Geekbench 5 tryout. So here we're going to be using tryout mode. We're not going to be purchasing a license or entering a license. We're going to press later here. And now we're free to go ahead and run a benchmark. So all you need to do here is click run CPU benchmark and then the benchmark is going to complete. This benchmark is going to take about two minutes. So just wait for that to complete before we can get the results. So when the benchmark is complete, what's going to happen is that it's going to give you a Geekbench 5 score. This is going to be separated into the single CPU score as well as the multi-core score. So this basically measures single threaded performance and this side measures multi-threaded performance. If you scroll down, you can see other details. I'm actually running this in a virtual machine through VMware and then it's going to give us details of the different benchmarks. So now I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.